In this video, I'm going to replicate the application we ran under Modern Eye uh, on the green screen, a customer maintenance application. So what I need to do here is create two show me definitions. I'm going to create one which is a, a full list, as we saw on the green screen on the Modern Eye presentation, basically a list of all the customers. And then from that list of customers, I'm going to create a drill down to the customer maintenance program, which will just let, allow me to change any of the customer hardware details, only a couple of fields on there, but you'll see what I mean. So from the main show me definition, Main show me menu are going to option one definitions and I do F6 to create. I'm going to call this cost list because it's going to be a list of all my customers. Okay, I select a type two. A type two is means it's going to be a full list uh, of data, no flap, no uh, static information at all. If I did a type three, it would be what we call a panel and a sub file, we'll have some fixed information and also a scrolling list on the screen as well. A type four would be a type 4 would be a flat panel with no list, and a type 5 would be any of the other three styles of inquiry, but in a window that overlays the, the data currently on the screen. So it's going to be a type 2, a full list. I call it all customers, or no, I call it customers. And now it show me takes me to a query for 100 type interface. So if you know how to use query, you've got a, a leg up with show me straight away. Um, anything that's got an asterisk next to it means that's come through from the skeleton. So it knows how the screen is going to look. And also some function keys come through as well. It puts a one against the options that I need to enter to make this definition complete. So I just go into through them in, in turn. I'll take files. My file is called cusmast01, a library called bi demo. But I'm also going to go to my cus class descriptions file, which is called cus class02, and that's in library bi demo as well. Okay, so all I need to do is just select the fields that I want to display in the in the list on the green screen or on the web. So I'll have the customer number, the customer name, the customer class. And if I do F9 to go to the next file, from there I'll have the customer class description. I'll just press F15. What that does is calculate the positions on the green screen because run these under the browser more importantly. And I'll just change the heading of that to be customer class code. Just so I know the difference. That's just warning me on the green screen, it's gone past column 80. I don't care about that in this instance. So I saved the definition, and that will, uh, in the background, generate me a data handling for that request. What a data handling program is, it's an RPG ILE program that does all the IOs against the file, does any calculations or sorts, all that type of stuff. Then whenever you want to run this definition within Show Me, whether it's on the green screen, whether it's to a, an AS4, whether it's on the web or whether you're downloading to Excel, it always calls that same data handling program to get the data it's going to show. If I just put a seven next to it, I can run it on the I have my four fields, pull through, or I can position to any particular one, one, three, five, six, oh, 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 will position to me to the right point on the file. Okay, the second is one well, that's actually going to do the maintenance of the file. So again, I do F6 to create, and I call this cust mate. This time it's going to be a type four, a flat panel definition. I'll call this one maintain customer. Okay, a little bit more work to do because when I specify the files and the fields that I want, I've got to specify a runtime parameter. Because it's going to be a flat panel. It needs a runtime parameter, some kind of uh, you know entity, it's either a customer or an item or, or whatever. So the file I'm going to use is still called custommaster one in library bi demo and now because i want to update this file i just tab across to that side over there and i put a u for update i can put a for add d for delete or b will do an add or an update depending on the record is not there or not so i'm going to update my custom master file what fields do i want in the heading well i'm just going to have uh, customer name customer number customer name customer class that's all i'll have F15, I think, calculate the screen positions for me. But while I'm here, I want to remember, I want to um, just go into attributes. And the parameter for that is customer number. So when I run that definition, I need to pass that a customer number to be able to maintain the right customer. But the good news is it's very easy to create a drill down from my customer's list to that definition and pass the customer number as a parameter. 
Now let's go back to my customer list. And in there, I tap across to options. What I'm creating is a drill down option. F6 create one. On the green screen, it'll use whatever I put there. So on the green screen, it'll say five equals, and then whatever the text is against the definition that I created before. On the browser, I can uh, drill down either from an icon or from text at the side, or from a field within the definition, which is what I'm gonna do. And if I'm gonna create a uh, drill down to another show me definition, I just F6 to prompt to the show me definition I want to call. Customer maintenance. Now the format of the show me command is the definition name. And then the keyword for means that the parameters are going to come on this um, on the string. So I just pass the customer number as the parameter, set the, uh, the customer number. So now it knows what I'm going to do. The last thing I want to do is go into browser overrides over here. What I'm going to say is a couple of things. On the browser, when I run this definition, I want to display 20 rows rather than the 10 that will display on the green screen. But I'm also going to say in my drill down overrides here, when I drill down, to, to, to define my drill down, I want the user to click on the customer number box. So you click on the customer number box, we'll drill down to the customer maintenance definition. Now, as a developer, I always test these things on the green screen first, just to make sure they, they work. So if I do a seven against that, that will show me the definition. You see it says option five, maintain customer. Okay, it shouldn't be two, I don't know. If I put a five against that, that should drill down and show me the customer record. Okay, like I said, not a lot, not a lot of great information there, but you see what I mean. So what I will do, I'll just edit that customer class so it's zero suppressed, dead easy. Back into my maintenance definition. Tab across here, it says customer class. So we've got edit code there. If I just put Z, standard I series edit codes, that will zero suppress that number on the green screen and on the web. So if I customer list again, five to drill down, you see it's um, zero suppress. Okay, so now I've finished developing the application on the green screen. All I need to do now is send it to the browser and uh, assign a template to it to run it on the web. And we'll do that next. Okay, now I've created the definitions. I just want to show you how easy it is to run these under the browser. First thing I need to do is just go into the Show Me Design Studio, along with my credentials. And I'm going to use the templates that Andy's created before. So if I just go into the dashboard, which is my home page, and it was Ken Cage Home, click that button to edit it. What I do, you see, I click on title maintenance there, which is uh, an element that Andy put onto the dashboard before. And all I do, I go down to events here and say, what do I want to do when the user clicks on that event? And I'm going to run an inquiry. So I just, those are all the different things you can do. Run inquiry, if I just click the bottom one underneath, it says which inquiry do you want to run? I just select the one I want, which is cus list. Click select. And that's all there is to it. I just go over here, save my template. So now when that uh, dashboard is displayed and the user clicks on title maintenance, it will call my customer maintenance program. <laughs> okay, not exactly 100% uh, correct, I know, but that's what I mean. Okay, so if I just log off the designer, go to the URL that the users use, which is that one. Now I'll log on with my iSeries profile and password, which I've saved. My homepage is now the dashboard that Andy created before. I just click on the maintenance tab, and there you are, that's, that's the customer definition we just created on the green screen. Extended to have 20 rows. But if I click on any one of these items here, I can now drill down and just change the customer. So I'll say Saul Bordier, and I can put PLC. Click the update button, which I've decided is this one over here. It says one record updated. That message is completely configurable in your show me definition. So when I go back to the list, you see it's, it's updated it and put PLC onto my salt board there and refreshes the data. So it's just a real easy example of how quick it is to write definitions. That probably takes us, what, 10 minutes and get them onto the browser.